Hi, hier ist Martin Keimer, Kapitän von Kleeks GC. Wir freuen uns sehr, euch in meinem Team zu haben. The problem with the wrist um, already started early in the season, I would say around the PGA Championship. I had some issues already and then I, I played through the pain. And the goal was to finish the season, then have some rest and let it really heal. But it didn't, didn't get to that point. My last t-shirt that I hit, that tendon that snapped, and then that was it. I couldn't grip the club anymore. I was consulting a lot of doctors. What should I do? How can I, how can I heal properly again? Do we need surgery? Don't we need surgery? Because at that stage, I didn't know that the tendon was snapped. 18th of November, I got surgery. It was very sad that I couldn't finish the live golf season in Miami, but that was just not possible. Since then, I tried to work on the wrist to have, to have my comeback as soon as possible. There are frustrating times. There are tears, there are sad moments, but you know, those are things that you, can, that you can't really control. The things that I could control is you know, working on other stuff that didn't, um, that didn't hurt the wrist. I could work a lot on my putting, I could work a lot on my chipping to get the rest of the body fit and ready to play this season, 2023 season. So I was focusing a lot of that and tried to really focus on the positive because there are also positives that comes with injuries. Yeah, it was a it was a mixed mixed feeling I must say because the week before Miami, I still thought maybe I can play in Miami because at that stage I didn't know if I need surgery or not. Um, I was just trying to go through the pain and I was obviously making the decision fairly late that I can't play there. Then I went there to support the team not only because I'm a team member I'm also the captain and I wanted the team to do well especially in the first season. trying to deal with my own emotions at that time to be completely honest you know I I had to focus a little bit on, on myself and if you you know if if you're not happy with yourself how can you make others feel better so and I was disappointed not to be there so I had to deal with my own stuff that week and um, with someone else coming into the team to play for me and that was all good I think it was Shergo actually who played a few events last year um, so he was a nice um, nice guy for the team, but as I said, you know, I, I had a lot of stuff on my plate. I was in one of those sugar casts, they're called. Um, you can take them on and off for six, six or seven weeks. At that time, you know, the mental part, it was quite frustrating that you can't even make your own breakfast if you have only one hand, you know, you need to cut the bread and then I need to ask my wife to help me and you feel, I mean, you, the rest of the body works, but you can't do certain things and we are so used to it and you take things so for granted and all of a sudden you feel so disabled in your daily routines. So mentally it was quite difficult at that time, but I needed to accept it and work with it. Um, and then after that six weeks, I started with, with a rehab, um, just some slow movements and mobility stuff, but only very little. Because obviously it was in that cast for so long. And then I went to America and I found a very good physiotherapist um, who works with a lot of tennis players and baseball and guys like this. She helped me to get the mobility and strength back. But I still needed to be careful what, 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 I, what I do there. I don't inflame it or to risk anything because obviously the tissue takes up to four months to heal properly and I needed to have that patience. And I was focusing, as I said, on, on other stuff. I could do putting after two and a half, three months after the surgery, I could go putting and stuff like this. And that is what I, what I did most of the day. Um, but I could also spend a lot of time with my family, with our, with our son. So I was trying to keep up my spirit through the family that helped me then to go through all the rehab. You know, I was always one of those guys who, who did a, a good, who had a good warm up routine. I would spend 30 to 45 minutes in the gym, did my routine there in order to go out here and, and be ready. That routine, instead of 45 minutes, maybe 55 minutes now, just to warm up the wrist. But other than that, I just tried to be smart about it and not start too early and not to put too much pressure and forces on the wrist right now. It's just a matter of understanding your body a little bit better and, and listening and then plan accordingly. Yeah, obviously, I'm not really, I haven't been part of the team yet. I've been to Mexico, I've been to Tucson, you know, to support the guys, to be there, to be the captain 
and to be part of the team. But if you don't play, it's very difficult to put yourself in it. But so far, I think we have a very nice atmosphere. We have, there are four good guys, you know, fun to be around with. And they're all, all here for, for their different reasons. Obviously Richard, you know, he's, he's the oldest in our team. He's very happy to be out here, play with us guys, have the team, yeah, that, that team competition within the individual competition. Laurie, he comes in and out for me now. Last year he was on our team the whole time. GMAG is a veteran, you know, major winner, Ryder Cup guy, you know, he's very experienced. You never need, need to worry about him. And Bernd is now new on our team. He was on a different team last year, but obviously it made sense to get him on my team. We speak the same language. I understand him very well, he understands me. And I think for the team, you know, he fits really well into it. For me, you know, the first and foremost, I would like to compete again. I would like to come out here, play my way into, into that mood that I can win th those, those events. I don't know how we'll feel when I, when I come back, hopefully in Australia. But I think in general, the whole team, the cliques, we have a long way to go, but through our team spirit, I think we can do really well.